Hey people, so here we go again today. Back on the Facebook Live. If you're watching later on YouTube, please hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. If you're watching later on Instagram, do the same thing or share, follow, whatever it is, and get you there so you don't get you to miss any of our content. Now, today I want to talk about the power of words. Really, really important. Because I often do consultations with people and some of the things that they tell me, they've been told by doctors, consultants, surgeons, etc., is, I mean, it's, it's to the point of negligence. Now, I had a consultation with someone the other day um, who unfortunately is going through, um, she's been diagnosed with cancer. And when she said, look, I'm not, I don't want to do the conventional treatment because I saw what he did to my husband, um, it actually killed him. They said, well, if you don't take this treatment, you're gonna die. She said, well, my husband took the treatment and he died anyway, so. But the words that the, these doctors use, you know, they should be held extremely, I mean, they're never held, held accountable for what they do and what they say, because people don't understand how powerful the words are to the body. Words are like God to the cells of your body. Um, I've talked before about the placebo and nocebo effect. So the placebo effect, you know, just thinking something will work is, it is actually, it works 32 to 64% um, of the time. They've done surgeries on people where they've opened them up, um, said they're going to do knee surgery, back surgery, neck surgery, whatever it is, they've opened them up, closed them back up without doing any surgery, told them they have, they've got up and walked away as if everything's fine. That's how powerful the mind is. And it works the other way around. It's called the nocebo effect, something that I think Joe Dispenser first came across or Bruce Lipton talked about how you can actually frighten yourself into illness. This is why the fear propaganda going on at the moment with the news, etc. It's definitely, definitely scares some people into illness. One doctor didn't believe this was possible, so he actually tried it on his own son. He, he, told, he, said, he told his wife and his son's teacher when they saw his son to, to tell him how, how ill he looked. So son come down to breakfast one morning. He's like, you're not doing very, very well here today. You're, you're okay. So I said, yeah, Dad, I'm, I'm absolutely fine. He said, well, you're not looking very well. Like, just be careful. His mum said the same thing. His mum said the same thing to him at breakfast, and his and his teacher said the same thing to him, same thing to him at school. Within two hours, the the boy had started to develop fever-like symptoms and started to actually get like flu. Only then that they told him what had happened, and the doctor was like, "I didn't think this was possible." That's but that's how powerful thought it is, and it's why you often hear of people, you know, doctors telling people they've got six months to live, and they live six months. Especially in our world, where you know we've got white coat syndrome, where people think these guys are like rock rock stars or even like demigods. So you have to be really, really careful with the language, and. It's even so. It's really important to keep have that have that language with yourself. It's why we do things like affirmations. You know, I'm healthy, I'm whole, I'm clean, things like that. Words, paramedics, for example. This is how important words are. And so this is why it's so irresponsible for people like doctors to say this. I mean, I had loads of doctors talk to people. But I know have got gut issues, saying you, you're going to have to have surgery or skin issues. This is just what your life's going to be like forever. It's absolute nonsense, you know. And it's with cancer. I always talk about this. You know, there's something called the 1939 Cancer Act. So you have to be careful what you say about it. But it takes, my research shows me, it takes 10 to 15 years to develop cancer. And one of the things I actually asked her was, did they even tell you why you've got your cancer? Or what made you develop it? She said, no. I said, did they, have they asked any of the questions that I've gone through? She said, no. I said, well, how do they even know how to treat you? You know, any illness can be treated and reversed doing the exact opposite of what took to create it, okay? And telling people they're gonna die isn't gonna help them get better, funny enough, you know? ironically and this is why i mentioned before para paramedics they're taught no matter how how bad the situation is when they get onto, on, onto a scene and don't go oh my god look at your leg it's missing or oh my god your head injury you look like you're gonna die they say oh don't worry about that nothing nothing no, no big deal here don't worry we're gonna sew you back up you'll be good as good as new come into it completely relaxed calm one because that i mean they've even shown studies have shown this that paramedics saying things negatively can actually in the subconscious um um, so, so you can actually, in the subconscious, put some people to actually um, go into cardiac arrest because they, they heard a paramedic speaking um, in a negative way. So this is why they've been taught not to do that. Uh, and so it puts the body the person into a relaxed state so they're calm and not stressed. And this is why, you know, people are very, very care careful with language. It's just, it's, just, it's just beyond the illness. It goes into, like, affecting people's lives. You know, something a coach or a teacher or your mum or your dad says, says to you, like, 10, 15 years ago, or even when you're, like, young, that was a throwaway comment, can stay with you forever. And it can affect and shape everything else you do. So, you know, 
just be very mindful and aware of what people say and just know it's not always true sometimes a lot of people people say stuff obviously you know, people say stuff to fit their own agenda and to try and scare people into stuff like they were saying this to try and scare this woman into into doing chemotherapy and radiation which i said by by law 1939 cancer acts is the only thing you can use is chemo, chemotherapy radiation or surgery um and so you know they've even got a law to protect themselves um and when she said, look, I've looked into it, chemotherapy's got a, a high 90% failure rate. You know, and I know what chemotherapy is. It's using uranium to try and kill everything and hope only the good stuff grows back. And it's same with radiation. You know, you're, you're cooking people um, rather than doing the things to, to create health, which is different. So just be, if you ever go to doctors, consultant, specialists, take what they say with a very big pinch of salt and actually maybe go and work with people that deal with this. I mean, well, my, I've dealt with human cancers in different ways many times before in terms of just not providing treatment for want of a better word because I always say I'm not a medical doctor I can't give medical advice but in terms of doing things that create health one of my clients Helen for example I talk about Helen because they gave her a hundred days to live and she just looked at me in disbelief saying how can you say that to someone and now she goes around the world and she gives seminars and she's a beacon of health and uh, yeah exactly it does it kills all the good stuff that's what uranium does that's why it's got like a 96 percent something like that death rate or something ridiculously high so you know you try and kill off everything it's what antibiotics do antibiotic you know negative life they kill off everything and then because you've got a um you've done something that's actually just destroyed the terrain it allows for the weeds to grow and that unfriendly bacteria to grow and it's why you know it's crazy you've got people sitting there taking chemotherapy at mcdonald's they're saying you oh any nutrition's fine it's like it's complete madness you know food is energy in formation you know energy information energy in formation it's not just nourishing the it's not just calories in calories out usually it's been used to nourish the body it builds everything that you are and it, and it speaks to the cells in your body it actually speaks to the gut line of the enteric nervous system so this is why it's so important and this is why words and affirmations are really really important you're not just going to sit there and say you know I don't believe in things like The Secret where you can just sit there and go, you know, I'm, I'm going to be a millionaire, I'm going to be a, billion, be a millionaire without doing the work. Of course not. But when you put those words into action and you start to live, you know, I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm whole, I'm calm, I'm relaxed, and you actually change your state. That's why Tony Robbins does things in his um, seminars where he'll get up and he'll be like, music on, and he'll start moving. And everyone, you change your physio physiology. Words, movement changes your physiology. So just be really careful with the words you use for yourself and what you let in and what you let affect affect you. And just know, you know, some of the stuff, most pe people's stuff that they tell you, one, you know, it's just, it's an agenda that they've got to try and affect you. Uh, of course, oncologists don't know anything about, I don't mean, they, they take like an hour's course in nutrition and it's nothing to do with actually what foods that heal, it's just to do with um, the, 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 the food pyramid. But yeah, just, just be really mindful of the words that you, that you let in and also the words you use for yourself because I said before, words, are like God to the cells of the body, okay, people? Um, and if you are dealing with a health issue, maybe go and talk to someone that's an expert in health rather than an expert in disease. You know, that's what doctors are, experts in disease. Cut, burn, poison, medicate. I always say to people, it's not, it is what it is for A&E and for surgeries and for things like that, fantastic. Is that what we need them for? Um, brilliant, you know, can't fault them. We can get them put back together. When it comes to chronic illness, unfortunately, don't have a clue because they're not taught they're just taught to prescribe a pill or surgery for example that's where the money is in america for example the amount of surgeries go up by the percentage of, of surgeons that are passed through so you remember it's a money-making business you know i always say they don't celebrate when their drug sales go down just when they go up and if you want to become a millionaire you wouldn't go and see a debt collector would you you know so i always say to people if you want to become healthy go and see an expert in health rather than an expert in disease um and really like i know we've been taught white coat like everyone that these guys are demigods trust me they're not anyway i hope that helps today people i want you to um believe as well this is why it's so important as well because if you never think you can heal you probably never will but you just got to come at things from a completely different perspective and you've almost got to unlearn everything you've been taught from a young age if you've been been taught you know that the allopathic model is the only model that will work this is why our Vedic medicine goes back thousands of years same as same as Chinese medicine these things work you know homeopathy um, for example these things work um, and homeopathy works on the same uh, same basis as vaccines except for it doesn't have all the toxins and carcinogens in it you know it's given the body it's, it's hormesis it's given the body a tiny uh, bit of the poison to make it stronger to that um, 
so yeah no worries um people hope this helps remember positive thinking positive um words but also positive actions you know you can't just think yourself healthy but they do make a big difference because the words you use and, and then the actions you take are all part of it um cool also any questions you got regarding anything always give me a shout i'm happy to do videos and stuff i'm going to be doing a few things i'm going to be doing one more on that uh, uh <laughs> antibacterial soon but otherwise people keep keep happy keep healthy keep doing the things that create health and i'll speak to you soon all right bye bye